Right about now, you know it's the time for Chat Trap, letting you know all about what's happening in the media today, talking about all the juice that took place at the BET Awards. So, yes, the BET Awards took place yesterday. And we got a lot of shocking surprises, but one that stuck was Cardi B announcing that she's pregnant now with her and Offset's second child together during her performance with the Migos. And I must admit, Cardi B, doesn't matter, pregnant or not, she's going to put on a show. She's going to wear her heels. She's going to get low. And she's just going to do what she got to do nonetheless. So congratulations to her and Offset, seeing that, you know, they, was going, they were going through a difficult time back in 2020. And she was thinking about just getting a divorce. So maybe, I don't know, they patch things up and it's a happy home now. But also, the legendary DMX was remembered with a tribute organized by Swiss Beats, featuring performances from Busta Rhymes, Method Man, and a whole lot more. And the City Girls performed their hit, Twerculator. It's good to see that Jay-Z, oh, ooh, JT, <laughs> JT is back out. And she is on the scene and she is on the stage performing alongside Young Miami. But Megan Thee Stallion also performed her new hit, Thought. And I don't really want to talk about what Lil Nas was doing while on stage because I think things just got a bit awkward then. But the BET Awards 2021 was epic all around. So if you missed it, you missed a big one. And album of the, album of the year went to Jasmine Sullivan with Hawks Tales. I know what I mean, H-O-E. Um, best female R&B artist. Um, was her best male R&B artist was Chris Brown. Best female hip hop artist went to Megan Thee Stallion, and of course, you know she's gonna get it for a while now until Cardi B probably really start pushing more. But Cardi B probably gonna be on break right now, seeing that she is pregnant. But best male hip hop artist went to Lil Baby, as expected, and the best group. I know a lot of people thought that the Migos would have gotten this one, but nope, it went to Silk Sonic. So the Migos now see that they have competition. So, of course, you know, they got to get back on the game super heavy. But as for some celebrities that didn't make it to the BET Awards, Young and May actually took to social media to share that she has checked herself into rehab as she's seemingly battling an unspecified addiction. But she assured her fans that she will be back. But she also shared a prayer seeking comfort on her Twitter. And these celebrities just go through so much. And seeing that, of course, you know, she's checking into rehab more than likely is the best thing to do. Because you, know, you do not know how long she probably was dealing with this addiction. But seeing that we are still in the month of pride for the U.S., Benny Man's daughter Ashley J. Davis came out to her followers online saying that she is celebrating Pride Month since she is a member of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. She shared that she's bisexual, and of course we know Beanie Man has been around for quite some time. He has even built his career in an era when Don Tall was lyrically and vocally anti-gay. So I really wonder how he feels about this, especially after so many years have passed, if he's accepting of this, or if he have a few words for himself, I mean himself. So we'll probably see what will take place, or maybe if he'll come to social media and just, you know, state his opinion on it. But after taking some time off to make sure she focused on family life, as we all know, Nicki Minaj is back. And just recently, she surprised her fans on Saturday night when she previewed an unreleased song called Big Barbie. And Nicki revealed that the track was recorded about four years ago. Like I tell y'all, sometimes when y'all see these singles come out, you're thinking of something that they probably just wrote. But these artists have music on top of music. So this is a track that she made four years ago she that probably might be releasing very soon but it seems that um london on the track actually produced it for her and is saying that future might be on this track here i'd be super excited to hear a Nicki minaj and future <clears throat> single but that's it for chat travel letting you know what's going on in the media jumping back to the mix right now egyptian